It's time for Clink and Drink. Today we are at Uptown Brewing Company in Greenville to check out their fan favorite year-round craft beers. So let's go check it out. We're here with Drew Cheshire, the head brewer of Uptown Brewing Company. Thanks so much for being with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. So this is Clink and Drink. So what is Uptown Brewing known for? Honestly, just our, our good assortment of beers that we have on tap. We usually have a pretty big spectrum and we don't lead too hard in one way or one style or the other. We try to accomplish a, a broad spectrum of styles and we try to make them as good as we can. At any one point, how many taps do you have ready for consumption by your patrons? We've got 16 possible taps. Most of the time we have about 12 or 13 of them full, but if we get on a pretty consistent brewing schedule, we can get all 16 full. But would you say your style is it? Is it American, German? What style of beer do you guys brew? We really do try to stay all across the board. If I had to pick a personal preference, uh, I think most of our our, most of our customers could probably point out that I do a lot of uh, European styles. I'm personally, I'm a huge fan of German beers, Belgian beers, uh, English, Irish, Scottish beers. So it's at any given point, we'll probably have two or three European styles. You can have so much fun finding and playing with the different flavors, but you also have a ton of fun events that people can participate throughout the week. So what are some of those? Yeah, so on Tuesdays, uh, we started doing open mic night a few weeks ago. That's been a lot of fun. Our, uh, our bar manager and a couple of our other staff members are very hands-on with that, and yeah. they, they're really involved with uh, the open mic community in Greenville, and so it's fun to see young local artists come out and try their things. Some of them are uh, some of them are very professional. Some of them you can find seeing it at other establishments around town. Some of them get up and try it for the first time. So it's fun to kind of see them shake off the nerves and do their thing. Wednesday nights we do a pub run with Fleet Feet of Greenville. That's been going on almost as long as we've been open now. So that's, that's a fun group. They come in and I don't know how they do it, but they'll go run around town, whether it's 900 degrees outside or minus 900 and they come back and get a couple beers and we do uh, half price mimosas and then lately we've started trying to do some mimosa flights as well where we'll have different juices you can pick, uh, uh, orange juice, grapefruit juice, uh, pineapple juice, maybe some sort of like uh, mango juice or something like that. We're, we're still kind of you know working out that one and trying to see how we feel and how the crowd likes it. And then the rest of the time, Fridays and Saturdays, normally we have e either both or just one of those nights, we'll have live music and if the weather's nice, and we'll open up the windows, open up the porch and uh, really kind of make it a good relaxing spot to end the week. Drew, so this building is beautiful. There's these gorgeous big glass windows that have the light streaming in, we have exposed brick. What would you describe the vibe as here? It's very much uh, either restored or maintained. I don't know if antiquity is necessarily the word. Uh, we do like having the big exposed wall with the with the brick. That's been a big thing in downtown Greenville recently, where they're trying to, you know, make some of these old properties, you know, inhabitable again and and repurpose them while at the same time not changing them too much. Modernizing um, a slight. Yeah, 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 modernizing. Yeah. That's, that's the word. Um, we did a little bit of uh, repurposing when we opened up the place when we first did the renovations. Some of the wood on the columns behind us, and I believe some of the wood used around the bathroom. So that was actually uh, really, really old cypress wood that had just, I think it was the original floorboards, but it was sitting in what we would call the basement now, up under us now, and it was just in a pile. And uh, cypress wood like that can go for several hundred dollars. Wow. Uh, and our, uh, our original owner's daughter did the interior design. She recognized it for what it was, and she said, oh no, we're hanging on to that, and we're gonna repurpose it. And it, it adds a really cool touch to it and has its own kind of story. Make sure to come back to Hello ENC every week to pull up a bar stool to find new spots to clink and drink.